Are you ready? Okay. Who here has ever wondered why bad things happen to good people? Yeah, okay. So it's April 2016. And a friend of mine from the United States told me about this story and, and so I took a look at it. Have you ever heard of Makanutu Jr.? No? Not too many people in Canada have heard of McCann Utu Jr., but in the United States, it was a big story. This was a young man. He was a teenage basketball player, and that was the love of his life. That's where all his friends were. This is what his passion was. But one game, he got a concussion. And try as he might, he could never get back on that basketball court ever again. So, you know, they put him through the five-step concussion protocol. Now, the problem is with the five-step protocol is that it's five levels, and you go through the first one, and if, if you, things aren't right, then they send you home. But if you pass the first level, then you go to the next level. If you pass that, you go to the next one, next one, next one. Unfortunately, the five-level protocol is not about healing. It's just about testing to find out if you can come back. So, you know, you're at school, and your teacher is going to teach you your lessons. They're going to make sure that you know your lessons so that at least you can have a decent chance of writing the exam and passing it. Well, unfortunately, with the concussion protocols, there is no such help. You're just told to go home and rest. You're left to go and find out if there's any help out there. So with Makanutu Jr., all his family could do, his family and friends could do, was just watch him go down the hill because there was nothing that anybody could do for him. And so because he had all this time on his hands all of a sudden, he started hanging out with the wrong crowd. So he, he started hanging out with the wrong crowd. He got into a fight whereby he got his second concussion and whereby he got his second concussion <laughs> and he hadn't even healed from the first one yet. Now, and then in April 2016, he was at home with his younger brother and his mother, and he murdered his younger brother and his mother, and then he committed suicide. And yet there was no help for this young man. For me, when I heard the story, I was so angry, and I was so mad because there was nothing that anybody could do for this guy, and, the, and all of a sudden, three beautiful people were snuffed out just like that. And I vowed that day that if I had anything to do with it, that I would help to prevent any more terrible things like that happening ever again. In fact, I am now working with a preteen who's also a very good athlete. He's missed out on his sport and we just caught him in time too because he started also hanging out with the wrong crowd but because I was working with him we're able to circumvent what could have been a very bad situation because in the last week he got into two very serious situations now because of what happened he got suspended but we caught him just in time and now he is back at practice and he's just getting ready to get back to play again but I feel that I have helped save at least one life. My name is Dr. Joni Liu and thank you very much for listening to my story tonight. <laughs>